So Mono Red in best of one standard is the best deck by far. You can see here that it has 16% of the meta, but fear not, there is a savior. It is Pelucranos Reborn. <laughs> So with the new batch of spoilers that came out today, I couldn't find really anything that was strong enough to talk about. So I've decided to do a video on a card that's been in my head for a very long time. Ever since it came out, I wanted to make one because I am a huge fan of Mono Green and I think this card is actually really powerful. So let's talk about it. Glucronos Reborn is three green mana for a four or five legendary creature Hydra with reach. And then you can pay six mana of any color and one white Phyrexian mana to transform Pelucronos Reborn, activate only as a sorcery. So its transform side is Pelucronos, Engine of Ruin. It is a 6-6 legendary creature Phyrexian Hydra with reach and lifelink. Also, whenever Pelucronos, Engine of Ruin, or another non-token Hydra you control dies, create a 3-3 green and white Phyrexian Hydra creature token with reach and a 3-3 green and white Phyrexian Hydra creature token with lifelink. So the first big part of this video is going to be standard. If you want to see commander, skip to this time. So first of all, I wanted to talk about the big butt on this dude. For three mana to have a four five is pretty crazy. It will stop most aggressive decks right in their tracks because they cannot make something bigger than that reasonably. So that's why I think it's so good against mono red because it will just break well them. One of their ways is to lightning strike and play with fire it, which you are completely fine with. In that matchup, gaining five life technically is so strong and they would have to use two cards to remove one. But if they can't, they'll have such a hard time attacking into you because another thing that the mono red deck has really good is that the phoenix chick gives the mono red deck some type of inevitability because he, he can always attack, he can come back and all that stuff. But with the reach, you can block him stopping that. And then when he flips, he gains lifelink and then he can attack and gain a ton of life. But it's also really good for mono green as a whole because what mono green really needs is creatures that are bigger than normal. So that their fight spells can kill without your creature dying like bushwhack. Now I really wouldn't consider the transform ability to be white because if you're playing Pelucronos you'll be heavy into green because you need three green to make it. So I'm predicting that you will pay the two life 95% of the time. The thing you got to be worried about when you're transforming it is that they can just kill it in response and then you feel really really bad. But if you can flip it the cool thing is is that it doesn't have summoning sickness so you can get back the life you paid to flip it and more immediately by just hitting your opponent and that is something that mono red will have a really hard time to deal with and if they do somehow manage to kill it you still get two three threes at the end sure you'll gain less life but you can block two different creatures that dice ability also makes it really interesting because it kind of negates the fact that it's legendary in a couple ways so if you have this flip you can play this Pelucranos and then he won't die to legend rule because these are different legendaries and what you can also do is play two Pelucranoses one will die this will trigger and then give you two three threes and you're getting two three threes for three mana which is really good on Right. The other thing you can do is you can flip this while you already have a flipped. It will come in, the legend rule will trigger, you will sacrifice one of them, and then you will get four three threes <laughs> because both the Pelucanos will trigger and the other Pelucanos will trigger. So you'll get a bunch of three threes. So the legendary clause isn't that bad on this card because there's so many ways to abuse it. Now, I did look at most standard decks and I couldn't find any other good Hydras. So I don't think there's going to be a Hydra Tribal, but the synergy it has with itself is good enough. And there are already some really strong mono green cards like Nissa. If you can alter immediately, you will win the game easily. Defiler of Vigor ramps you, buffs your board, does so much. Evolving Adaptive is just a really good one drop. But there's, there's one really big problem with mono green, and it's, I think, one of the big reasons that it's not big right now, other than they don't have the best cards, but it's Phyrexian obliterator the phyrexian obliterator is so powerful against mono green because mono green doesn't really have a way to deal with it without dealing damage to it either fighting it or 
or attacking and this creature blocking. And it goes really well with Bushwhack because it can come in, fight immediately, hit something massive, and then you have to sack a bunch of permanents. And the problem with Pelucranos is that it's a 4-5. So it will die to the Obliterator and the Obliterator will survive and make you sack four permanents. So if Mono Green ever becomes really strong, there'll be more obliterators and then mono green will be obliterated which is really sad because i love mono green so much i still think the card is absolutely fantastic for mono, mono green and hopefully something will happen in the meta that obliterator won't obliterate this deck and i'll have my favorite archetype back and everything is gonna be awesome so that was standard but let's talk commander first of all a three mana four five in commander is a lot less impressive because the game gets a lot bigger and just having a lot of stats isn't much. Now the second problem I have with this is that it's white. Most of all Hydra Commander decks don't run white, so it'll be really hard to find a deck that he fits in really well. Another problem he has is that he has to be in a green-white deck, but he still needs triple green, so casting him early will be difficult. So if you're going to go Hydra Tribal with him, he has to be the commander because of that stupid little white Brixton symbol on him. But there's a really funny thing you can do as a commander. So if you transform him, you, you can play your Hydras with X equals zero. There's a lot of X Hydras. And if you go X equals zero, they'll come in and die immediately, triggering this ability getting you two three threes and i just think that's hilarious I just, it's pretty good honestly because you're paying one mana in these cases for six six power so it is more of a meme i will admit that but commander is an awesome format because it's filled with memes <laughs> there's way more than the ones i showed you that die instantly in, in play i just showed you the one mana one but you can kind of go crazy and just make a bunch of little hydras i think that's awesome and I think it'd be really fun, so. And in green-white, there's a bunch of cards that doubles your tokens, like Primal Vigor, Anointed Procession, Parallel Lives, Second Harvest. And the great thing about the first two is that they also double counters, which also works with the other Hydra theme, so that could be fun. <laughs> That is all I had to say about Pelucanos Reborn. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what cards you want me to review because I'm kind of running out of favorite cards. Please give me some tips because I'm very new at this. I don't know what I'm doing. And I'd like to know if you guys want me to read the cards at the beginning of the video or not. And yeah, have a good one.